Are you dreaming of a new life in Texas? Embark on a journey with me as I introduce you to Patterson Ranch, Georgetown, newest community. In this video, I'm going to reveal this brand new community, perfect for those who are looking to move and settle into a comfy Texas lifestyle. Join me for an exclusive preview of what could be your future home sweet home. Welcome to Living in North Austin Suburbs. I'm Jenny Wagner, your friendly neighborhood realtor, and I'm here to help you navigate the exciting real estate landscape of North Austin. Whether you're looking to settle down, relocate, or just explore, you are in for a treat. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all things North Austin. But wait, there's more. Drop a comment down below and let me know if there's a community you would like more information on. Okay guys, so we are gonna dive in and talk about Patterson Ranch in Georgetown. And there's actually gonna be two builders out there, but um, only one of the builders has information on what they're gonna be doing out there. So um, I'll mention, we'll talk about that one, but there is gonna be another builder. Perry Homes is actually gonna be another builder um, that's gonna be out in this community as well. Um, don't have any information for them yet, but um, let's go ahead and talk about um, Ashton Woods. So this is gonna be another Ashton Woods community, and um, yeah, this is gonna be in Georgetown, so this is gonna be north of uh, Austin, probably anywhere from you know 30 to 45 commute, maybe up to an hour, just depending on traffic, if you have to kind of go into downtown Austin. Um, again, this is gonna be uh, the same floor plans as I did with um, Covered Bridge and Hutto. So um, Ashton Woods did a community out there in Hutto and they're gonna mimic kind of what they did out there out in Patterson Ranch. Uh, they're gonna have eight floor plans, anywhere from about 1589 square feet all the way up to 2,900 square feet. Um, it's gonna feature one or two story homes and actually you can get either four up to six bedrooms um, for these floor plans and three to four baths. Those are your options. The pricing is gonna be about 359, so like those high 300 up to about the mid to high 400s. Um, and then that's kind of just like the base price. Um, you know, options and depending on what you pick out could maybe bring that price a little bit more. Um, they do have a quick and quick move in ready homes and to be built, but it's pretty much a brand new community. There's not, they, you know, they have their model um, home open um, and it is available, but that's, you know, they have some of the houses starting, but there's still so much lots that still need to be sold out there. Um, tax rate is gonna be lower. So kind of lower than what I've seen with new communities. Um, it's gonna be 1.96%. HOA is gonna run you about $50 a month and it is gonna be zoned to Georgetown um, Independent School District. Okay guys, so we are going to hit on some pros of this community. So I was out there the other day and this like, it was 108 degrees outside, but wanted to go check it out. Um, so some of the pros of this community, again, it's gonna be a more affordable community. Now, Georgetown can be um, expensive in some areas, but for this community, um, it is more on the affordable side compared to what you'll see like on Cedar Park Leander area. Um, so that's definitely a pro. Um, the floor plans are the same, but they're allowing you to have up to six bedrooms, which is really cool. So in my mind, these are gonna be homes for like bigger families um, or multi-generational families that need like that extra one or two bath bedroom. Um, which is, which is, you know, kind of a trend right now is that people are needing some kind of a multi-generational home. Um, there is an on-site elementary school in this community. So it's kind of like a master plan community where you've got, you know, your homes and then you've got your, you know, there's an elementary right there in the community, which makes it super convenient uh, for families. Um, to have, you know, the school right there. It's just the elementary school, so the middle and, and high school is, is, is not in the community. It's just the elementary. Um, and, you know, another pro would be that lower tax rate. So that's, I, I don't think I've ever seen a tax rate that low for a brand new community. So uh, going in, you've got a really good uh, tax rate. 
Okay, so we are gonna hit on some cons of the Patterson Ranch community. So, first off, it is up in that Georgetown area, so uh, your commute, I mean, you could go toll 130 route. You're probably, you're more, you're more closer to like the 35, Highway 35, so traffic on that can be kind of a nightmare. Um, I know that, especially like in the Wolf Ranch, Georgetown area, that area can get really crowded. Um, and so I would just say your commute is gonna be longer than other suburbs in the area. Again, there's no on-site amenities. So this is another um, Ashton Woods community where they're not gonna have any on-site amenities. From what I could see on their website, there wasn't gonna be anything on-site. So like a pool, playground, like a dog park, stuff like that, like on-site. But you've got the school on-site, um, which you know not all communities have. Um, and then I guess another con would be um, the HOA fee does seem a little bit high. So $50, you know, um, it didn't look, this doesn't look like it's going to be a really big community, like a, you know, a massive community. So there, there may have been a lot more infrastructure, um, more stuff that had to, be, you know, had to be put out there, you know, because really that HOA is going to, for the most part, it just covers your common area maintenance um, unless there, there's going to be some changes. But um, that $50 uh, HOA fee does seem a little bit high. Um, so if you're not a fan of, you know, HOAs or, um, then I, you know, this community wouldn't be for you. And I, you know, that's about all the cons um, I could think of. I mean, um, Ashton Woods, a good builder. And there, there's also going to be Perry homes out there. So you'll have, you know, kind of an option uh, between the homes, you know, to compare and contrast, but all in all, a really great community. I appreciate you spending some time with me today. If you are considering moving to the North Austin suburbs, I'm here to help. Make your transition smooth and hassle-free. If you're ready to take the next step or have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Please remember to subscribe for more insights about relocating and real estate in this wonderful area. See you in the next video.